High tech and haute cuisine. Microsoft supposedly runs the world's best employee canteen and would like to keep other competitors at a distance because they invest in gourmet canteens too. There's this understanding of this employee, potential employee coming out of college and making a decision to work for a different company because of the food. The world's largest software producer caters to an entire city at the Redmond headquarters nearby Seattle. Few headquarters are of a comparable size. 125 buildings, 45,500 employees. There are 33 canteens and 32 cafes. Our camera team is the first to take an exclusive look behind the scenes of the corporation's restaurants. Craig Tarrant is kind of a culinary mayor in the small town. For the past 25 years, he's been a chef for the software giant. I'm always in the cafes tasting food, so I have a personal goal every day, um, and I do love my job, um, of tasting food in a minimum of two to three cafes. So if you think about that over a week, and let's say it's three, I would get to half of those cafes in a week, um, and we're very self-critical about our food. Today, he starts his daily tour at the Indian Food Station. Wow. If you smell it, it smells like Fruit Loops. Yes, it does. A great number of employees are from India, but the Indian food didn't taste very authentic. So for six months, a new concept was developed. The result? The seasonings are now roasted and ground on site. Even most Indian restaurants won't bother to do that. All right, Harvey, you're not fired. This looks great. You got your job for another day. <laughs> Enough spices for about three days. Seasoning for curry, masala, and the renowned butter chicken. They marinate the meat overnight and then bake it in a tandoori oven. That goes for about an hour. Uh, typically in your traditional Indian restaurants, the, the, the meat portions will be smaller on the skewer, uh, so it'll cook a lot faster. Um, but because we do so much volume here, we have to use larger pieces of meat, otherwise we'll be here cooking tandoori uh, proteins all day. The oven reaches temperatures of up to 1,000 degrees. Poultry stays juicy on the inside and turns crispy on the outside. That's pretty darn good now. Right. It's no wonder we sell so much of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that on the outside, yeah. that's, that's, that's key. Yeah. Up to 300 servings of chicken are sold every day. Every week, the Indian station moves from one canteen to another inside the campus. It's not about eating alone. There are all kinds of ways to spend your break. The company's strategy, to mix work and off time. Going to the canteen could also help to develop new ideas. Very convenient, employees don't have to wait for the end of their working day to take care of any errands. The campus features stores, sport facilities, a bank, a hairstylist, and of course, a PC doctor. Diego Reitman has been here for 16 years. He started in the gaming console department and now is in recruiting. One of his assignments is to coax smart students into working here. He knows what to say and how to convince them by heart. Yeah, my favorite thing is the flexibility. Uh, there is no dress code. There is no time that I need to be at the office. Um, I can work from home, I can work at the office. Um, you know, we get, we get gym, gym membership, uh, all these different cafeterias. Um, I actually get, like I got a new, a new watch, a, a Fitbit watch. It helps me to stay healthy, yeah. A healthy employee usually has less sick days. To enhance creativity, the software producer has built a few very special buildings. To get there, Diego boards a company shuttle. Hello. Hi, how are you? How are you? Good. 
The distances on campus are so great that minibuses shuttle employees from one building to another. Sometimes I go out for a walk. I do like a, a, like a long loop. Uh, and I have gotten lost a couple of times, yes. <laughs> and I use my GPS to get back on track. <laughs> because we have, we have walking trails. So you, you can get into the woods between the buildings. Yeah, that's really nice. Nature encourages creativity. That's why you'll find three tree houses in the middle of the campus. Employees can relax, work, or hold a meeting, just like Diego. When the three houses were first announced, I asked myself, why, why do we need three houses? You know, what's the point? And then, a couple months later, I had my first meeting inside one of these tree houses, and it was so much fun. Tree houses, a shopping area, canteens. The company won't tell us how much they've invested, but it's the only way to reach and hold good employees. So the company mantra. Craig has only checked one canteen, but now he needs to see his boss, Mark Freeman. Mark is responsible for all Microsoft canteens worldwide. It was his idea to invest in extraordinary canteens. They can be used to promote new software. Now, when a salesperson comes in and brings a potential customer or a partner, they can actually bring them into the cafe and show them that this technology actually works. And in the end, it's the customer who buys the software. A program evaluates the data coming from the cash registers. This way, they can predict how much of which product will be eaten at a certain time and can plan more effectively. We can tell the farmer to plant the tomato at the specific time that, they, that we're going to use it. Number one, we can purchase that tomato before it's even grown. And now when it hits our loading dock or when it hits our cafes, the, the freshness of that tomato is exact because we know exactly how many people are going to be there. And the nutrition value is huge because it's not old, it's a fresh tomato. Less food is being wasted. Money is saved and the quality of their canteens is improved. In Germany, one in five people will skip their lunch break. Diego is a busy person too, but his lunch break means a lot to him. The most important is the actual food. So in a way, at Microsoft, we, when we have lunch, we are turning food into software. <laughs> Starts at food, goes through my body, into my brain, and then I have ideas. He can pre-order his lunch online and won't have to wait at the canteen. Jimmy Churri is from Argentina, where, where I'm originally from. I'm going to have this. Only four dollars. Here we go. An Argentine-style burger with onion rings costs him about four dollars. This is only possible when a company subsidizes its canteens. Visionary Mark had another idea how to save money and widen the gap to their competitors. Well, I'm always talking to you know, our senior executives saying, you know, we got the best dining program in the world and it's attracting the greatest people in the world, so you should support me more uh, with finances. And sometimes I'm successful, sometimes I'm not so successful, right? But well, it, it's just part of what I do. These strange vegetable patches in the middle of the office save money. A computer takes care of the gardening with cameras, lights, and sensors. No transport, no in-between dealers. And compared to a regular garden, this plant tower needs up to 90% less water. And all that information through that gateway is shipped to the cloud. And, and then, once the data's in the cloud, then it becomes very easy to be able to monitor and manage the farm, if you will, from this, on this tower. The computer decides what the plant needs by checking humidity, look, and growth. Until now, it's only vegetables, but Mark is already looking at the next step. One of the things that I'm pitching in our new campus is to have a farm. And if we have a farm, and it will be, my, most likely it will be here at the Commons, we'll have the ability to incorporate fish into it. The canteen plantation is another area for promotion. When you see it growing, it really it plant, implants 
fresh into your head, right? And so as they come into our cafes, they see the lettuce growing, they think everything is fresh, right? And in fact, most of it is, but still, they get this, they, they get this feeling that there's fresh food. They still have to do the harvesting themselves. The computer tells them when the right time has come. A lot of plants grow much faster in these conditions than outside. The canteen team harvests 6.8 tons of lettuce and herbs a year. Craig delivers the lettuce to the next canteen. This is where so-called microgreens are cultivated. Young herbs or vegetables harvested as sprouts. This one here is probably still going to be maybe a week away. Um, so it's, it's just now starting to bloom. If I had to guess, this is probably in week one. Um, but by the time it's finished, it will taste just like basil with a very, very small amount. The young plants are loaded with pure taste. The kitchen chefs use them to season as toppings and at the salad bar. At the beginning, nobody would order this new kind of salad. The reaction when we reopened the cafe to um, the micro lettuce, if you will, um, at first was a shock because everybody likes their romaine, their spring mix, their spinach, and they didn't see it. So I think it was a shock to them. In the meantime, the sprout salads have become a big success. The largest bowl costs about $8. Guests at a restaurant will pay more than three times the amount for the select microgreens. It's time for Diego's lunch break. Okay. I'll show you around the cafeteria. We have food for all, every, every place. This is Indian food. I really love it. Butter chicken is my favorite. The kitchen team serves more than 45,000 employees every day. There are canteen-run food stations or outlets from 20 local restaurants that have rented space on the campus. At this canteen, you can either order fresh fish, but classics too. Like pizza, and a must-have in the US, Mexican food. Diego ordered online and has received a code. Now he can pick up his burger. Cold and hot beverages are free, but not the food. I would say normally I spend six, seven dollars, uh, which is, it, it's, it's really a good deal. If you go to a restaurant where you have to pay for the drink and you, and, and you have to leave a tip, it's usually more expensive. It sounds a lot like the perfect canteen, but also like a way to try and keep employees in their office as long as possible. I am very engaged with my work, you know, but I'm not a workaholic. I have a beautiful wife from, from Argentina. I have two daughters uh, and I have hobbies outside. And uh, I do believe that if you have a good work-life balance, it makes you better at your work, actually. Employees value good food. Many canteens and competitors are completely free, not at Microsoft. I believe that it'll stay subsidized just because people, when you have to pay for something, people treat the food differently. You, you appreciate it more. When Craig started back in 1993, there was only one office building. He prepared the food at an outside location. A very simple canteen was the result. A couple of years ago, they reinvented everything. I actually don't like the word cafeteria, um, so we consider ourselves more restaurant food, um, and I think that's the next step up. I think if you have the mindset to do restaurant-style food, I think, um, and, and you can do it, I believe that that's why our participation here at Microsoft is so good, is because we give them the experience of great food with great serving vessels that make them feel like they're in a restaurant. A canteen isn't just a canteen anymore. Craig and Mark have understood and take care of 45,000 hungry guests every day. <laughs>